ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna continue to talk about the, uh, backlash about video games, but I really want to talk about, like, why people, including myself, why I feel that, like, we play games in general. Eh, excuse me, I know this is a bit different, but just want to make sure I'm in party so that you don't hear any audio. But I'm really fed up with the backlash that video games have been getting and, like, you know, they've been scapegoating. And I really wanted to discuss why I think we play video games in general. So right off the bat, I've been playing games probably since I was maybe under 10. I don't remember what's the exact age when I started playing, but I know I was like under 10. And from the moment like I first got my like I I I had played like, you know, like the older Nintendo's, the really old um consoles, but like the first actual console that was like mine was a uh, excuse them moi, whatever. Excuse my bad playing. I'm not really focusing right now. But the first console I ever got like that was actually mine was a uh, PlayStation 2. And from the moment that I, you know, just got it and put in like Crash Bandicoot, that was like one of my first games. I was just in love. Like I just had so much fun. And you know, for some people like people say, "Well, this is just about violent video games, TCD." Well, you have to consider like what they believe is like a violent video game because like cartoon violence can be violence for them like because right now they're just at the point where they're just like oh all video games are bad you know and why i don't know but it's just legit the way that things are right now and i really wanted to just talk about the good that video games can do for you because i'm gonna be honest like I'm not going to go too deep into details, but, like, when I was a kid, like, a lot of bad stuff was going on with me and my family. Specifically, like, someone who was, uh, supposed to, you know, actually be doing good things to me were, was doing pretty bad things to me and my mother. And, uh, I just needed something to sometimes just take my mind off of, like, just crying all day. So, I would get on a game, and I would just start having fun. You know, and considering, like, how crap our society is in general, that's really a, a lot that you have to look forward to nowadays. You know, people say, well, you should never play something as an escape from real life. Well, maybe if society wasn't such absolute crap to begin with, I wouldn't need an escape. Like, I don't think you, these people who are trying to, like, block video games realize this, but, like, hey, maybe we wouldn't need to escape to a virtual world if the real one wasn't absolute garbage. Yeah, because you see, there's nothing wrong with the planet, but it's just the people on that planet, you know? The people on this said planet are, are, you cannot describe. People are like, oh, but you just look at the bad. It's not about just looking at the bad. It's the fact that it's just, it's that apparent. You know, it's that apparent. It's the good that's hard to see. And I, and we play them to just, just to have fun. Like, please tell me, guys. How often in real life does your hard work actually do good for you? Most of the time, it's just, it rarely actually does good for you. Like, look at college, you know, people love to go on about how important college is. But, like, I know so many people who have gone to college and is and are still in debt and, like, still don't make enough to, like, survive. And that's in a, that's a prime example right there of how our hard work literally meant nothing in the long run, you know? Our hard work basically meant nothing. <laughs> and it's never like that in a game. If we practice in a video game, it always pays off. If we practice, we'll either, you know, level up, things like that, get better at a shooter. Like, our, your hard work pays off. You see progress. And that's something you rarely see in real life. No matter how much hard work you put in something in real life, you rarely see the progress. But in a game, 
you see the progress. You see that you're starting to hit headshots. You see that you're starting to peek around corners right. You see that your character is becoming incredibly powerful in RPGs. You see progress. And you just don't see that in real life. And they're trying to take it away from us, guys. They're trying to take it away from us. And it's really frustrating because it's like the one thing where our progress actually means something. You're trying to take it away. Wow. I cannot believe how bad that was. But the one thing where we're actually where we actually have progress and stuff. You're trying to take it away. And it's so frustrating to see. It's so it's just incredible. It's like why is this happening? Because I'm being honest, like I'm not being I'm not gonna get into politics, but here's the thing. Me shooting a gun in virtual freaking created space does not mean I am going to pick up a gun in real life and just start spraying people. I don't know who thinks like that, but if that's the case, I want, I, I'm being honest, I want military banned, okay? I want sports banned, I want bullying banned, and I also want, if you insult someone, you might as well be able to freaking uh, go to jail. Yeah. If you're going to really go on about a freaking virtual world where you, you can do basically whatever you want, and you're talking about violence, then all I'm saying is the societal issues we face daily, you better outlaw them too. You better outlaw them too. Because I'm sick of people coming after video games. Hey, guess what? I know a whole bunch of people, including myself, who got bullied in high school. What what happened to them? Huh? They tormented us for years, and they got away with it? <laughs> you're, you're coming after video games for these school shootings. You, you know who the culprits are? It's those little an angels. You think they're innocent. They're not innocent, man. You're really trying to act like, oh, this violence in a video game, it's just so bad. You know, this is not good. Why are you trying to act innocent? You think your little kids are some innocent angels? No, they go to school and they freaking pick on people. I don't care if they're actually physically picking on them or mentally or emotionally. They go to school, they pick on these kids, and then they, these kids say, hey, I can't take this anymore. And they find a way to end it. They find a way to end it. And it's either killing themselves or they kill them or both. And they're blaming a freaking virtual world. For the reason that we do this. Not we. I don't know why I'm saying we. They blame the virtual world for the reason that those people do this. They blame a virtual world, guys. And it's just so frustrating to see. Because I know the truth, and I'm pretty sure that you know the truth as well. It's the real world. The real world is just crap. It's just crap. I've never seen a world more crap than the real world that we live in. I've never seen it. And the fact that they're coming after our basically brief moment of happiness and joy, knowing that our progress actually means something, it's... It, their words cannot describe my frustration. Okay? Words cannot describe my frustration i am so sick of the of them just acting like oh oh it's the games it's this it's that no i'm gonna be honest i'm not trying to be political here but if they didn't have access to guns in the first freaking place it wouldn't happen it wouldn't happen it's just that simple guys i don't care if you're for gun control or against it if they didn't have access to the guns to begin with it would not have happened it's common sense. If he did not have access to the guns, it would not have happened. It's just that simple. I don't care if you're for gun control or against it, but if he did not have access to those guns, it wouldn't happen. You honestly think that me shooting this, this right here, I'm shooting this. Oh, you think I'm going to go freaking find a sniper in real life and just start quick scoping people or something? You think that's what I can do? You think I can do that? No. I actually have to go through a whole bunch of things and freaking get a gun. But the fact that, hey, kid about... 
maybe my age or a bit younger was able to do that whole nother level of stupid and you're blaming video games you are blaming something that isn't even real for real problems it's unbelievable it's so frustrating. I can't, I know. I don't know how many times I said frustrating, but it's just that bad. You're blaming a virtual world for real problems in this world. How stupid is that? That's, that's what's frustrating the most about this. Like, right now, I have a flamethrower. You think I'm gonna go outside and just, like, make a Molotov cocktail or something and just start freaking torching people? No! I know the difference from real and virtual, and I am fed up with this freaking backlash that our games are getting and we need to come together as gamers and just say no we're not taking this crap you're not gonna take away our freaking happiness from this pre freaking crap society this society is absolute garbage and you're making it seem like the thing that actually makes us have fun and smile you're trying to take that away from us I'm so sick of it, man. It's definitely the video games. It didn't screw it. No, no. It's not these corrupt people that screw people over for enjoyment or trying to be popular. It's not these corrupt people that literally freaking insult you for choosing to act differently and not popular from what's the popular decision. It's not the people. Oh, no. It's a freaking virtual world. It's really that. Oh, yeah. I can't stand this, man. It's really pissing me off. It's really pissing me off. And I know it's pissing a lot of gamers off, so we have got to do something. We've got to freaking voice our opinions about this. Because if they take away gaming and leave like this gun violence crap alone, then we have literally lost our brief joy in this crap society and for what the problem won't even be solved it won't even be solved i i cannot express the importance that gamings have had for me and for a lot of people that i know i would not know some people that i know had I not met them on a video game. And they're trying to take it away from us. And it just really leaves me speechless to just see this happening. I'm begging you people. You want to know the cause of these shootings. You want to know why this happens. It's because society and the human race is the most toxic thing that you can ever freaking encounter. It is the source of all the evil in the world. It is the source of all of this freaking misery that you're going through. It's greed and corruption. It's the source of all this. And people won't actually admit it. They'll just look at the things that actually make us happy. I swear, if this was sports, this crap would have been done. No one would have let this crap, you know, get this far. If it was sports, this crap would have been done. But since it's games, you know, like, they're just letting it go as far as it is right now. And I'm, I'm fed up with it, man. These people don't see that it takes so long to freaking make games. It's a form of art, man. I, I gotta get off. I gotta get off. I'm sorry, people, but, like, I'm more pissed off than usual. Because I really think that games are important for mental health, and I just can't take this. Rate the video whatever you want to rate it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next freaking video.